Hello friends, today we will understand consumer web service descriptor in web methods. A consumer web service descriptor defines an external web service. It contains all the data from WSDL document that defines the web service, as well as data needed for the certain integration server runtime properties. Let's go to designer and understand its implementation. Go to your designer. Let's create another folder called consumers and now right click let and create a web service descriptor. Let's say calculator consumer. Now we'll select consumer here and it will automatically select WSDL. Click on next. We will use calculator WSDL. This URL here, click next. Keep everything default. Select the prefix and finish. Now here you can see that the integration server has automatically created the one folder calculator consumer underscore which is having connector doc type and response services so the important thing in the consumer is is automatically creates a web service connector for each operation in the web service a web service connector is a flow service with input and output signature that corresponds to the input and output message of the web service operation so to call the specific operation in a web service is execute the web service connector so let's say if we want to call the specific operation in a web service uh, for example add subtract multiply or divide so i use execute web service connector so its correspond connector will be called so for example let's say if we want to check add operation so what we will do we will call the add connector and then run as flow service here we put Let's say seven and ten and click OK. So here we can see that seventeen. So this way we can implement consumer web service connector in a web method. So now how do we call this particular consumer normal flow service? So create one flow service called add click next and now what we will do we will simply add connector into our flow service now here we'll create true input let's say a and b and result and here what we will do we will simply map our input and out output and now test this right click run as flow service let's say five, five so here we can see that five plus five ten we'll get the result ten so this way we can call our web service connector from flow services i hope you got the point and if you have any doubt or query then please do let me know in a comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you